Hello, Technology Crazy here, and today we're going to be looking at tips and tricks to make your Windows 7 faster, so please stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so let's start with the physical side of Windows first. And when you're talking about speeding up your computer, you're going to hear the word RAM a lot, which stands for Random Access Memory. Now, your hard drive is also memory, but that's where you store your files. RAM is the complete opposite. It's where your computer uh, runs on it. So the more RAM you have, the faster your computer will run. Uh, it's the only method I'm going to tell you about today that will actually cost you money. Uh, buying and installing more RAM will definitely speed up your computer, but I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a uh, tip or trick uh, to add more RAM without buying it. So to check how much RAM you have, go to your computer, right click on it, go to properties, and I'll tell you right there. Now I only have one gig because I am running a virtual machine here, uh, but I recommend about two to six, uh, six being for video editors or gamers, and two just being for the normal user. To add more RAM uh, to your computer without buying more RAM, you can actually use USB or memory cards using the Ready Boost option on Windows 7. So very first thing, you want to go to your computer here, stick in your USB or memory card, right click on it, go to properties, go to ready boost and enable it. Uh, basically this will use your USB as RAM. Now on my virtual machine I can't do that but on your computer you just have to enable it and select how much RAM you want it to add to your computer. Uh, basically it'll just over overall it'll increase your performance as well as uh, open up programs faster and all that stuff. Next we're going to be focusing on something called msconfig which will basically list all the stuff that starts up when your computer starts up and we're going to be removing all the stuff you don't need. So first go to your start menu, type in msconfig, just like that, start it up. Now don't worry about anything else because we're just going to focus in on the startup. Don't mess with stuff you don't know about because this could mess up your computer. Um, before getting rid of something, always check what it is first. So uh, here's a list of all the stuff that will start up when your computer starts up. And you can see that I've actually unselected all the stuff that I don't need. And then after you've gone through all the programs you don't want, you just press OK or apply and you're good to go. The next one we're going to be covering is one of the most important things. Now Windows 7 uses a lot of animations and it looks amazing. What we're going to be doing is disabling some of the animations that we don't need to make it lot, run a lot faster. So to get to the animation settings, we're just going to go to the start menu, like always. Go right click on computer, go to properties, go to change settings over here. And let's drag this over here. Let's go to advanced and under performance, go to settings. Now here we have all the animations in Windows 7. Uh, what I suggest is just go to uh, adjust for better, best performance and press apply. And you're you're going to notice that this is going to be extremely retro uh, Windows 7 and not everyone likes that. So you can actually go and enable the ones that you like most and have like half Windows 7, half uh, retro Windows. Uh, so that will just increase your Windows uh, speed enormously. The next two things are a little bit of a scheduled thing that you're supposed to do every once in a while. We're going to be focusing on disk cleanup as well as disk defragmenter. And they're both basically a repair your hard drive. Uh, disk cleanup also really cleans it up a little bit. Uh, to get to it, you can either search or go to all programs, accessories, system tools, and they're right here. Disk cleanup will first analyze your hard drive and find all the stuff that it can get rid of. And basically you just select everything. All right, well, I suggest selecting everything and press OK and it'll delete it. Next one is Disk Defragmenter, and it's also at the same place, Accessories, System Tools, and this will defragment your disk, or in uh, easy terms, it will repair it. Uh, I don't want to go into it because I could talk 10 minutes on this, um, but basically just press Analyze. Now mine goes every week, I have it scheduled, so uh, you're going to notice that mine is 0% fragmented, and that's good. Uh, if yours is about 30 to 50 or higher, uh, you're going to notice a gigantic difference once you defragment your disk. Another thing that can really help is uh, disabling the Windows uh, search, or at least minimizing it so it doesn't have to cache as many files. See, it keeps a record of each file that you have on your computer, and every single time you start up, it will have to search for all those files, and um, it'll do all the stuff that will basically slow down your computer. So if you search a lot, uh, this might not be for you, but if you don't use it very often, then you definitely want to check this out. So first off, you have to right-click on computer, just like before. This time we're going to go to manage, and you have to be administrator to do this. Uh, then we're going to go to service and applications, and services. Scroll down to Windows search, it should be at the bottom here. Right there, we're going to double-click on it. Now we can have it on automatic, so it'll automatically start up and uh, cache everything. Or we can go to manual, so I'll have to manually do it, or disable, which will speed up your computer quite a bit. But once again, it's not for everyone. 
Okay, so the very last thing we're going to be talking about today is an application called Game Booster 3. Now, this is meant for gamers because it does actually, it closes all the applications and services you don't need while gaming. Now, I'm not much of a gamer, but I have tested this out and it does seem to work. Uh, so I just switch to boost mode and we'll press boost here. It's closing all the services that we don't need. And you can see it's actually enhanced our computer 42%, so that's really good. Uh, and then once you're done your game, all you have to do is press restore, and it will restore all those applications it closed. Uh, so I guess that concludes this video. Please stay around for the Bitcoin program, and I guess that's all. From Technology Crazy, goodbye. Anyways, the Pikmin program winner this week is the Gem Tech, and he does tech videos just like me, and does a really good job doing it. Um, he does really good camera shots and all that stuff, very good audio, all that stuff. So if you want to go and check out his channel, all you have to do is go and click on the Click Me button on your screen. Make sure to go and check him out. If you want to be part of the Pick Me program, all you have to do is say Pick Me in my latest video, and you can say it as many times as you want, and I might pick you. So I guess that concludes this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.